Hello again. Uh, I'm just going to open this package today. Uh, it's come through the post. I ordered it Monday night on eBay. Um, it was always dispatched Tuesday, and it's now Wednesday morning. So it's come very quickly. It's supposed to go in three to four days, but it's here within, well, a day really. From them getting the order and then dispatching it, it's come within a day. So I'm chuffed about that. So let's just open it up. And let's see what's inside. Right, this is what we've got. It's a bit bigger than I was expecting, which is good. Got a letter, got some name and address, what it is. And what we've got is, we've got a green, 500 grams green metal polishing soap compound for £3.32 plus that. Plus postage, six pound altogether, or well, five pound ninety-eight, and it's come within twenty-four hours, pretty much. So I would recommend this eBay, and they are just for reference, uh, the Tool Store in the UK. Out the way. So this is what we've got. We've got green polishing compound. One second. Yeah, so it's it's definitely bigger, bigger than I was expecting. Um, it's 500 grams, which is half a kilo, or if you wish, 1.1 pounds, which is half a kilo. It's 2.2 pounds per kilo. Anyway, it's made by Silverline. It's green polishing compound. It says forever guarantee. It's for the first stage of polishing of soft metals. And final buffing of hard metals. It's basically an abrasive suspended in what I believe is a paraffin wax. It's like, yeah, I suppose crayon is clays, but this is it's definitely hard. It is solid. 500 grams green polishing compound. That's about all the information you get. So let's open that up. See what we can do. Let get in there. There we go. So there we go. One rather large stick of polishing compound. Now, for your average sharpener, person just sharpens their own knives now and then, or even on a weekly basis. This is going to last a fair while, I reckon. I should do a measurement for you, just in case you're wondering. It's seven and a quarter inches. It's actually a, what they call a trapezoid shape. It starts parallel with that, but that and that are different lengths. And you've got the slanted sides. That is a trapezium. Just for you mass buffings out there or people that might wonder what that shape's called. It's called a trapezoid. Just for reference. So on the top it's seven and a quarter inches. But on the bottom it's nearly eight and three uh, seven and three quarters. So it's nearly half an inch longer. And it's uh what's that there? Inch and inch and three eighths. So yes it's a a decent size, um, decent size bar. I've just, just while I'm here, I've got this belt I was using as a scarf. Um, it did have, this was all scratch remover for a car, but I've got the, uh, I've got this to use now. So I'm just trying to apply a bit on there. So let me show you how it goes on. You basically just sort of, you know, rub it on as you, as you would and, and get it into the leather. So we'll just rub a bit on here. And this is what you would do, you see. You would 
we drew this into the ladder like so. You can see it's starting to colour, it's starting to take the, the green. So you just sort of rub it on like that, you see, it really is quite simple. And it's, as you can see, it's hardly took any off the corner. It's uh, it's not wearing it down at all, really. It will last, unless you're sharpening, you know, hundreds of knives a week. Or if you're a complete addict to sharpening knives, and stopping knives, you're not going to use this in, God, probably last year's wood. Just give it a nice even coating, you know. See the bit I've covered, the bit I haven't, let's just do a little bit more there. When you get a decent amount on there, this is just an abrasive held in like a, a wax. And this is, it's not the most, it's not the finest one you can get with green. White and blue are finer. But as you can see, it's hardly took any off the corner. I could still, I could, you know, that that's as good as new. We'll put that back in its box. So we've got a stop there, basically. If I was to get a flat piece of wood, like so, and put that there like that, I do like to, because this table isn't quite, make that nice and solid, you see. So, that's seven minutes. Let me just show you with this knife. This is sharp. I was sharpening this last night, but I didn't have the green compound to do the final polishing with. And I've just picked up from the shop, actually, just for fun, one of these uh, free magazines. Actually, I've got three of them, but I don't sell any more. I'm just going to use this for, for a bit of cutting. Cutting, uh, yeah, well, cutting, cutting things. Strip the page out if you can. There we go. This is like nice, glossy, silky, high quality paper for this presentation. So it's not cheap newspaper. But you just have a listen what the knife sounds like going through the paper. You can hear a psh noise as it goes through. I said it was sharp. So, a, a few goes on here should. It should refine the edge a little bit, which you, you should be able to tell by, A, the cut being a little bit smoother and you have to put less effort to cut paper. Plus, the, the noise you hear as it goes through the paper should be reduced in volume because it's cutting cleaner through. Obviously, the more resistance it feels, the more noise you get. If there's, if there's zero resistance, it'd just be, you wouldn't hear anything. So let's see if I can uh, just give this a couple of straps, see if we can hear a difference. But it's only for a bit of fun, this is. There was another tip I wanted to show you, but I'm gonna do a video on that, about holding your knife in the right position. And a, a little technique that might help you keep your blade where it needs to be when you when you're doing this precision the final steps on your sharpening. So we'll give that a few goes. I mean I will have a look into it later and uh, I've got my sharp my straight rays that, that needs going on here. So we'll see what this looks like. We just have a few passes on the green compound or just an old old leather belt that I got from a charity shop for next to nothing. Um, and I can make about three straps out of that. Obviously you can use the other side as well. We'll just uh, we'll just have a couple more. Just to strap that down and see if we can See if we can hear or feel or, or hear, you know, sense a difference. Oops. Let's do 
for the microphone. I think that, that is just a little bit quieter as it goes through the paper. It is hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. It certainly uh, has made a difference, I feel. Yeah, so uh, I took the video opening the uh, opening my green stocking paper uh, compound, applying it to applying it to an old belt, and within within five minutes, you've got yourself a, a perfectly usable strop, and that paraffin wax green polishing compound should last you a very long time. So I hope someone's enjoyed watching that. Thank you for your time today and bye bye.